thinking about visiting all the top attractions in Las Vegas without breaking the bank. If you're like me and want to squeeze as much value out of your trip as possible, then stay tuned. Today, I'm diving deep into whether the Go City Pass can save you hundreds of dollars, and more importantly, if it's really worth your money. So, what is the Go City Pass? It's an all-in-one pass that gives you access to a wide range of Las Vegas attractions, including museums, tours, shows, and more. There are two types of passes. The all-inclusive pass, which gives you access to as many attractions as you can visit within a set number of days, from one to five days, and the Explorer Pass, which lets you choose a certain number of attractions, say three, four, five, or seven, and you can use them at your own pace. And here's where things get interesting. The Go City All-Inclusive Pass includes access to premium experiences like tickets to a Cirque du Soleil show, a Grand Canyon full day tour, and even a Strip Highlights night helicopter flight. Now, let's talk numbers, because this is where the magic happens. Buying individual tickets for some of Vegas' top attractions can add up fast. Let's say you want to visit these popular spots. High Roller at The Link, that's around $40 per person. Madame Tussauds is typically $39 for general admission and a go on the Link zipline will set you back $50 per person. Then add on a helicopter night flight over Las Vegas at $125 per person. Altogether, that's roughly $256 for just the four attractions. Buying individual tickets for some of Vegas's top attractions can add up fast. But, if you buy the Go City all-inclusive pass for just three days, it's around $269 and you get access to all four of these plus as many others as you can fit in your schedule over the next two days. That means if you visit just one more attraction per day, you're already saving big. Let me walk you through another typical day using the Go City all-inclusive pass. Let's say you start your morning with the big bus tour to get a feel for the city. That's already $55 saved. After that, you head over to the Welcome to Las Vegas sign for a professional photo shoot, saving a further $125. In the afternoon, you go up the tower at the Strat for some epic views of the Strip. That's $35 saved. By dinner time, you've already saved over $210 on just three attractions, and your day's not over yet. If you squeeze in the Rockstar nightclub tour, an escape room, or see a show in the evening, the savings really pile up to over $300 in one day. Now, let's talk about whether it's really worth it. The Go City Pass is definitely a fantastic deal, but only if you plan to visit multiple attractions per day. If you're the type of traveler who likes to take things slow or only plans on seeing one or two spots, the savings may not be as noticeable. To get the most bang for your buck, you'll want to visit at least three to four attractions per day. And remember, Vegas can be busy, so factor in waiting times and travel between attractions. And here's a little tip to maximize the value. Plan your day carefully, start with attractions that open earlier and finish with the ones that are open late, like the high roller or night shows. This way, you can make the most out of your day without feeling rushed. So, is the Go City Pass worth it for Vegas? Absolutely, but it depends on how many attractions you want to visit and how much time you have. If you're the type who wants to experience as much as possible, you could save hundreds of dollars on tickets. But if you're more of a laid back traveler, it might be better to stick with individual tickets. Now that you know how much you can save with the Go City Pass, check out my video on free activities in Las Vegas to stretch your budget even further. You'll be surprised at how much you can do in Vegas without spending a dime. And of course, if you found this video helpful, hit that like button, subscribe, and drop a comment below if you've used the Go City Pass or if you have any questions about saving money in Vegas. I'd love to hear from you.